Hello everyone, welcome to round one of our Moto Cube Draft. We are against Glocks for Interns, a.k.a. Tim Pazewski, a.k.a. the guy who, uh... uh a.k.a. the guy who just won Star City Open with Cobblade, uh, the new Cobblade. Um, we're gonna keep this hand. Um, our opponent Mulligan's on the play. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand based on, like, pretty much Greaves into, uh, Piana. And it seems like it should get us there nicely. Uh, it's like not as fast a hand as we want, but Greaves certainly helps. And here's hoping these don't get countered. Looks like they're good. So some sort of blue-green deck. Every, for the last few times I've cubed, I always just keep losing to upheaval. So I really don't want to lose to upheaval. I'm gonna play Silver Knight. And we'll see if it resolves. I'm gonna play these guys because then, uh, you know, the, these effects are more powerful later on. And also, I don't want them to get countered. So it looks like he's got a counter here. Counter spell, that's fine. And then I'm gonna go play Mom. And equip Greaves to Mom. And I might as well get in because she has Shroud. Uh, so. Blue green, eh? Potentially with a white splash, don't quite know. So opponent has a morph. I'm trying to remember what morphs we saw. Um, it could be something like a willbender would be pretty good. Um, but yeah, not too sure. We will see though. Exalted Angel. That's a saucy one. Um, I'm gonna just play Paladin here. I'm gonna Paladin and then Greaves it up. Actually, I should have just played Piana there. That was a misplay on my part. Because I would have gotten in for one more damage. Oh, no. Destroy my Greaves. That's not good. Alright. Alright, then. I guess I'll have to go without my guys having haste and perma shroud. Oh, he's got a black splash. Interesting. Two cards left in hand. He attacks with Exalted. I'll just quite obviously... Uh, I'll block, and then I'll give my guy pro green. I could have traded one of my guys there for Vigilante, but I really didn't think I wanted to. Oh, what's he got? Six. Treachery. That's not fun. Yeah, I probably should have expected something, but... Something like that. But, alas... So now he can give Vigilante... Uh, he can give Vigilante protection, so I'm going to need to get in pretty hard here. This is true. Mom and Greaves are both pretty annoying, so it says he earned that treachery. Ah, uh, now, do I want to play Champion or Piana, or do I want to just morph Angel? I think I could take three for a bit, so I think I'll just play Piana here. And 
All right, there we go. Savannah. Okay. Um. So, if I just attack with both, there's no downside, right? I don't think so. He'll fog one with the mom. Like, I guess he could have, like, disfigure or something. But. And I'll uh, we'll play a bunch of dudes. Hopefully he doesn't have, like, a life finale or something. Although if he did, Angel's not exactly a terrible card to have back. Giving that pro white. Interesting, still going on the beatdowns. Uh, unless, what does he have? Deed! Ah, interesting. That's pretty good. Alright, so he's going to activate Deed for three. He's going to Wrath my board, and then he'll be stuck with a 3-2. Okay. Alright. Not terrible, not terrible. Uh, I'm just going to morph this Angel. And, uh, you know, we're still, reason we're still, I don't know, we're probably ahead. Um, depends on what he has in his hand, though, obviously. Mind twist for one. Okay, he get he hits our Johnny. We will take the three. Pegasus. All right, I'm gonna attack here. And we'll unmorph. Yay, life gain. All right. So he's like bug control. Pernicious Deed's pretty good. But like some of his cards, like Counterspell's not great against this. Like it's okay, but it's not the best. Mind Twist is not the best either. Like it's it's really good. Same with like Treachery. Like Treachering a Mom is like probably one of the best plays he could do. Like obviously Treachery Exalted is pretty much the best play he could do. But I don't know. If we're just playing a bunch of 1, 2, and 3s, then hopefully, uh, hopefully he won't Treachery us next game. Gilded Drake. Ah, so we, he's going to swap it for our Angel. That's not fun. Temporal Isolation off the top. Let's see it. I'll take that. Ah, is he a removal spell too? Ah, oh, Eternal Witness to get back Treachery. Oh, wow. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> and that's what I was worried about with this card being absolutely terrible. Um, I guess I just have to play Pegasus. And I might have to just... I think we're just dead. Because he goes, he takes control of the Drake. And then tacks in, we trade for Nantuko. Trade for Nantuko and we take... 6, he goes to 15. Yeah, we're probably dead here. Yeah, he's got us. Alright, so, into the board against this, uh, this bug deck. What do we want? I might want the balance probably do want balance. Cut Vile. Let's play balance. Ah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Vile might have been good on turn one that game. But I don't know. I think I'd rather cut it for balance. Um. Like, maybe we want mass. He did. He should. Well, he should us deed. And deed still kills mass. Pretty hard. Yeah. Um. Do I want to bring in, like, the, uh. The Wheel of Fortune splash? Maybe. Sure, let's bring that in. And we'll board out, uh, board out, like, 
Revoker. We didn't see a ton of one. Ah, uh, Revoker can name Deed. Uh, uh, he's not red, so we'll say we'll board out Silver Knight. Then we bring in City, Gemstone, and a Mountain. Now we board out. Blue Plains Lake gives us one, two, three, four, five red sources. Yeah, that should be fine. 